Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Viewers, this is Paul. I want to take you through water pollution and uh, the topic on water. Water is a way wide concept, a wide topic. Covering water, we have to talk. To, we can learn so much about water. Let us today look at water pollution in class seven, and start by saying that uh, in water pollution, water pollution. It's when you add some pollutants or contaminators into water. So water, water pollution, it is, it is the act, it is the act, it is the act of making, of making, it is the act of making water impure. It's the act of making water impure or contaminated it is the act of making water impure or contaminated water and when we make water impure or contaminated we affect the living we affect the living things because all living things depend on water for survival. Water it supports life. So polluted water is harmful to all living things. That is the that is the biotic things, plants and animals. It is harmful to plants, it is harmful to all animals and to all plants. So we should conserve water for future for future generation. So what are the causes? What are the water pollutants? What are the water pollutants? examples examples of pollutants examples of pollutants or contaminators examples of pollutants we have several things that make water impure one of them is run off run off when the water is flowing or floods it pollutes water so run off is a water pollutant we have acid rain we have acid rain, we shall see where it comes from. We have dissolved chemicals. Once dissolved chemicals in water, chemicals are dissolved in water and then that water gets into contact with fresh water, that water becomes harmful. So dissolved chemicals, have the dissolved chemicals. We also have bacteria can be in water. Bacteria. Bacteria is a pollutant if it is in water. We also have so animal or human waste. Animal, animal or human waste or human waste. Now we want to look at the source of these chemicals. We want to talk to all these pollutants. The source. So we have to look at what we call the causes, causes of water pollution. Causes of water pollution. It's like asking you, where do you get this from? Number one, we are going to start with floods. Floods, once it rains heavily, the flood water, what are we are calling as the land of, carries away soil, the top soil. This soil may contain some contaminators. And once they are washed downstream, any living thing, plant or animal that depends on that water, it is, suffers the repercussions of polluted water. That's what I'm saying. France is one cause of water pollution. It's one source. It's one cause of floods. It's one cause of water pollution. So number two, another cause, another cause is human, human and animal waste. 
and animal waste. Once animals or human beings use uh, release their waste in form of urine or waste or feces or dung is released into the water source. That water gets contaminated with bacteria or some bacteria like the waterborne diseases bacteria, cholera, bilharzia, they are released into the water source. So that water becomes polluted and any other animal taking water downstream, if it's a human being, they will contract diseases downstream. The animals also can defecate in the river or with, with tapeworm eggs. So if anyone drinking water die, downstream will contract the, or will get affected by the intestinal worms. So human and animal waste is a cause of water pollution. We also have acid rain. Acid rain. Acid rain is caused by release of acidic gases. Release of acidic gases, acidic gases. It is caused by the, the release of acidic gases. They are gases once emitted into the air, they mix with the rain bearing crowns and form acid rain. One of such gas examples, one of such gases is a gas by the name sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide. The other gas of such kind is what we call the carbon, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Those two gases are said to be acetic gases. They mix with the rain bearing crowns and form acid rain. Once that acid rain falls on the earth's surface, it affects the plants growing, it affects the aquatic animals, animals living in water, such as fish, and also any animal drinking such acidic water. The other one is farm chemicals. The other pollutant is farm chemicals. Farm chemicals. Farmers use several types of chemicals such as fertilizers, fertilizers, We have fertilizers. They also use what we call the pesticides, the pesticides, the insecticides, the herbicides, etc. In the so once these chemicals are released uh, or are sprayed into the farm, and mainly without following the manufacturer's instruction, uh, man uh, the manufacturer's instruction, they are those who will. They are those who will, will fight themselves putting the chemicals in excess, putting the chemicals in excess. So that chemical is swept downstream. It is swept downstream or washed by rain water downstream. And it affects the animals living in water. That's why you realize some lakes have weeds. You will see a lake that has weeds or a river that has algae, this one tells you that the near people nearby are using excess fertilizers which are washed downstream and that's why they are encouraging the growth of water weeds. Water weeds such as the water hyacinth in the Victoria. We also have other weeds like algae. Every time you see robustus growth of such weeds, it is an indication that people nearby are using fertilizers in excess. Pesticides will kill a living organism. That's why you realize if you read history, laborers in the past used to have very many, uh, a lot of fish, but today even frogs are getting rare to get because the water has been polluted by farm chemicals. Then going to, apart from the farm chemicals, the other one is industrial waste. Industrial waste. What industrial effluent, if it is released into the water source without treatment, that water is dangerous for human life. So we say, not only human life, but also animal life and plant life. So waste 
I'm referring to untreated sewage. Untreated sewage. Untreated sewage will not be released into water sources because it becomes a water pollutant. It becomes a water pollutant. So we have learned that the causes of water pollution are fronts, human and animal waste, acid rain, industrial waste, and excess farm chemicals. Thank you for viewing.